Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, the first time you're clicking on my video, thank you so much for making that decision. I pray you never regret it. I pray that God will use this channel to impart your life so positively that you'll be glad you stumbled on this channel. You'll be so glad that you subscribe. God bless you am amazingly and welcome to the family. God, I just heard this word in my spirit. Say, make this call. Do not be afraid. Do not be scared and do not be proud. Make this call. Do not be scared and do not be proud. And when I was trying to get more clarity about it, the Lord just took me to, you know, the Bible says, call upon me in the days of trouble and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know of. And still in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, the Bible says that, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will glorify me. God is particular about asking you to call. Why did God say, do not be afraid? Because you might be in a situation, maybe you cause that problem upon, upon yourself. And you feel like right now, God has abandoned me. He says, do not be afraid. Call upon me. God knows there is a day of trouble. Whether the trouble was self-inflicted or whether you were affected by it or, um, you know, the devil came upon it with uh, came upon you with it. God says, call upon me in the days of trouble. And I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not of he says again in another verse that is in psalms call upon me in the days of trouble and i will deliver you and you will glorify me god knows that you might be the perpetrator of the act that led you into trouble or it just came and met you when you were sitting pretty on your own but one thing you should not be scared is to call upon God. One thing you should not be proud is to call upon God. Some of us, we are when when, when God says do not be proud is because you might feel like uh, maybe God cannot. You know, there are some things that we feel like this is out of the jurisdiction of God, or maybe I should handle it another way. God, you know, God calls it being proud. When you decide not to call upon God and depend on Him to help you in the days of trouble, you are being proud. And when the devil tries to, you know, confuse you with guilt to tell you that you you, you 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 brought this problem upon yourself you cannot call upon god right now this is something you cause upon yourself god says do not be scared still call upon him and trust that he will answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know of he will answer you and deliver you like the bible says in psalm 50 yes the bible says that in psalm 50 verse 15 he will deliver you and you shall glorify him hallelujah that is what god expects of you to do do not be scared. Do not be proud. Make that call to him right now and he will answer you.